We're here with Admiral CEO Kristen Rivers. Uh, so how are you finding PG Connects London so far? It's fantastic. Great to be back. Great to be talking to everybody in person. The, uh, the you know the, doing this online and via Zoom has worked, but there's nothing better than actually being around people, learning through through just kind of com uh, conversing with people, getting the uh, just get, getting the knowledge through through actual interactions as opposed to Zoom. It, it, I'm really enjoying it. So has anything in particular caught your eye at the show so far? Yeah, gosh, there's so many great things. Uh, as I said, just learning from everybody, hearing all the great talks. I think uh, what I really enjoy about this show every year is the big indie section over here and, and seeing new indie games, you know, whatever that, that next game could be the next hit that, that everybody is playing in six months time and everybody's talking about. So uh, there was one that I really enjoyed called a hookup. Um, it was a, it's kind of a, I guess you could describe it as a Tinder turned into a game. In the last year, there's kind of been a lot of developers trialing, trying out in-game advertising. Um, what do you think are the learnings from that process? This is really the year where in-game advertising has become has become mainstream for developers and for advertisers and for the whole ecosystem. So, you know, we've been talking about this is a year that brands will finally think about ga uh, about gaming. It has absolutely happened. We have tons of different uh, uh, brand activations within within the in-game uh, within the in-game environment. And developers now, uh, it's no longer a question of does it make sense? Would it be the right genre? Is this something we should test? Uh, there's tons of developers that have have really leaned into this and are integrating this, not integrating Atomo style uh, in gameplay ads, not into just one or two of their games, but into you know, a whole bunch of their portfolio games. So you've just finished your talk uh, on the future of advertising panel. Uh, what were some of the interesting themes that you discussed on that? Yeah, the, um, the, the panel was a really great chat. Uh, I, again, I enjoyed talking to all my colleagues uh, within, the, within this environment. The, I think the, the standout um, the standout topics, one of course privacy, everybody is now starting to think about privacy and what that means and I think the, the kind of next steps in privacy is you need to start collecting additional data about your players because you don't have the signals that you maybe used to have uh, in order to, especially from the in-game environment, where we want to create uh, personalized advertising experiences for each player. In order to do that, we need to collect that data about them, about what's relevant to them, what they would like, what they wouldn't like, but doing that in a very privacy compliant manner. So I think those were the, the privacy, uh, collecting data, zero and first party data about players so that you can create these personalized brand experiences. Those were the kind of three standout topics for me. And finally, uh, you've recently announced a partnership with Number 8. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, we're really excited to be working with Number 8. This fits very much into our strategy of understanding players, of understanding them in a frictionless and privacy-compliant manner. And the type of signals and telemetry that Number 8 allow us to use, things like, um, you know, where was this player actually playing the game outside of the game experience? Were they outside? Were they indoors? Were they moving maybe on public transport? transport, uh, all those sorts of signals allow us again to create much more relevant and personalized advertising experiences. Awesome, thank you very much. You're welcome, thanks a lot.